Welcome to The Terrible Take, a mini-podcast telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Dave Bryan. Recently, Mark Sessler of NFL.com attempted to identify a first-time Pro Bowl selection for every NFL team way ahead of the 2021 training camps getting underway. His choice for the Pittsburgh Steelers was an understandable one in wide receiver Deontay Johnson. Johnson very well could wind up being a first-time Pro Bowler in 2021, but as I mentioned in my Wednesday post on this very topic, I would bet against that happening, and not because Johnson might not have a very good 2021 season. I mainly think that because making a Pro Bowl roster is tough to do if you're not an extremely popular player. Like it or not, fellow Steelers wide receivers Juju Smith-Schuster and Chase Claypool are way more popular than Johnson is right now, and that's not likely to change anytime soon. Because of that, I like Claypool's chances of being a first-time Pro Bowler in 2021 a lot more than I do Johnson's. That's not a diss. It's just because of the whole popularity thing, combined with the fact that the two Steelers wide receivers could ultimately have remarkably similar stats. As I wrote on Thursday, I think of all the possible Steelers 2021 first-time Pro Bowlers, rookie running back Najee Harris stands the best shot of actually making it. For starters, Harris should do good in the fan voting portion, which counts for a third of the Pro Bowl selection process. Assuming he stays healthy for a good portion of his rookie season, Harris could wind up being in the running for the most total yards from scrimmage by an AFC running back come the season's end. After all, if things go the way most of us seem to think they will, Harris should touch the ball around 300 times in 2021. If he hits the 1,500 total yards from scrimmage plateau and scores at least eight touchdowns, it's easy to fathom him being a Pro Bowl lock. It quite honestly could come down to Harris, Derrick Henry, Josh Jacobs, and Nick Chubb for the three AFC running back spots. By the way, Harris, Henry, and Jacobs are all Alabama products. How strange is that? Currently, Harris is listed at 9-1 to odds at betonline.ag to win the NFL's annual Offensive Rookie of the Year award. Those odds are down from 14-1 to from right after he was drafted. Basically, that means the betting public has been bullish on Harris winning the award the last several weeks. I know I put a few dead presidents on those odds, and I suggested you do the same during a terrible take several weeks ago. What are the odds that Harris will make the Pro Bowl this year? Well, I haven't seen any yet. If I do come across some, however, I think betting that Harris will indeed be a first-time Pro Bowler as a rookie is easy money. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every weekday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast with myself and Alex Kazora every Tuesday and Friday.